This is saint ursanne one of the most beautiful villages of the Swiss Jura region. The Swiss, like the French, take their food pretty seriously. The local bakers have created the flavoursome, savoury sour cream tart with a type of brioche base called toche. Many farmers distill small red plums to make a superb eau de vie called damascene. The skillful charcutiers prepare small goods using all cuts of pork, but the most popular is the smoked saucisse d'ajoie. The Swiss make some of the best cheeses in the world. I love the fromage tête de moine made with raw milk from several villages in the Jura. Once the curd is formed, the cheese is molded into cylinder-shaped molds. The cheeses are labeled and pressed to remove excess moisture and dipped into a salted bath. Then they are stored on wooden planks to mature for about three months. During that time, the cheeses are cared for by brushing with salt. Once ready, the tasty cheese is not cut into pieces, but it is shaved with a local invention, the girol. Really delicious. This Swiss creamy veal dish with potato roasty is famous all around the world. I peel and grate a boiled potato and mix it with a little onion, salt and pepper. I slice a few mushrooms and cut some veal tenderloin into thin slices. In a small fry pan, I heat a little oil and butter. I press the potato mixture in the pan to an even layer about one centimeter thick and cook it on each side for a few minutes. Next, I brown the veal in a little oil and butter and transfer it to a plate. The key is not to overcook the veal. I then add two tablespoons of chopped onion and sliced mushrooms to the pan, cook for a few minutes and transfer the mushrooms to the plate with the veal. Add a little dry white wine to the pan, add some cream and simmer for a couple of minutes. The veal and mushrooms are briefly reheated in the sauce. I place the roasty in the center of the plate and spoon the veal and the sauce around. It's better served with chopped parsley. Voilà, the Swiss classic of veau sauté aux champignons et rusty. This is the wonderful cheese cellar of Marcel Petit Fromagerie in the Franche Comté. Here there's 100,000 Comté cheese maturing and tomorrow we are going to learn a lot more about this incredible place.